Hello and welcome to another my NT ND marriage video. There's been a little bit of talk out there amongst the autistic community of Cassandra syndrome and a sort of collection of autistic people saying that what they're going through is Cassandra syndrome. Cassandra syndrome is where you know the truth but you're not believed. And this usually relates to abuse and neglect. Not only people in autistic relationships suffer from Cassandra syndrome. If you're in an abusive relationship where your partner is really awful to you and nobody believes you and their family and friends take their side and all of that kind of stuff, that's Cassandra syndrome. Whether you're with a neurodiverse or a neurotypical, that's straight up how Cassandra syndrome works. So with the autistic people saying that they're, they've got Cassandra syndrome as well, I'm not really sure what it is that autistic people are claiming that isn't being believed. It's not the same thing as your condition being misunderstood. So if you have autism and you have to mask, that's not Cassandra syndrome. If you have autism and you tell people, these are my needs and those needs are neglected, that's not Cassandra syndrome. What would be Cassandra syndrome is if you said you have autism and the other person said, no you don't. That would be Cassandra because that would be you telling the truth and you're not believed. So I think it's really important that you don't mix up the two. Being misunderstood is not the same as not being believed. In my relationship, lots of people tell me that they can see both sides, that they can see my partner's side as well as my own. Usually they don't know my side. It's not like I'm talking to every Tom, Dick and Harry about it. And whatever side they get from my husband is just his side, it's not both. I also get a number of people saying that, oh, I've met your husband, he's nice. He's not at all like what you're saying. Well, the thing is, they don't live with him and they don't know what I and the children have been dealing with. His mum is pretty cool. I think she gets it because maybe his dad is very similar. So when he talks to her on the phone and says, oh, things aren't going well, she tells him to be better. And I think that's because she understands how hard these relationships can be. Anyway, that's just a little adjunct <laughs> to my point, which is there is a difference between being believed or being understood. And I don't think that autistic people should be saying that they have Cassandra when what they're really referring to is not being understood not having the neurotypicals understand the autistic way of thinking and being and not accommodating that and not being understanding when they meet autistic people. You know, for example, maybe you work in a place where the lights are too bright and you say to your employer, I want them turned down, I don't like them. And your employer goes, eh, that's weird, I'm not doing that. That isn't Cassandra, that's just your employer being in... Yeah the dingbat, <laughs> because he doesn't understand the condition. Anyway, just a quick video there to talk about the difference between the two and give people perhaps a better understanding of what Cassandra syndrome is and isn't. Anyway, quick video from me. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Hope you found it helpful.